What's up guys? So we have a little extra addition. The basket for my wife, so she can put stuff in it, like um, the lunch bag. Put the lunch bag. And you go, she has a small backpack, she'll put that in there too. Uh, demonstrate with the water bottle. Put that in there like that. Boom. And um, I had to buy purchase some uh, C clamps for this basket. I believe you can find this on Amazon. I, I'll probably try to post a link in the description. I got this from the bike shop though. I'll see if I can find something like it. I'll post it for you guys. Um, that with the C clamps over there. I forget, I think they're like two inch, something like that. And if you're gonna add, my wife wanted the um, the basket. If you're gonna add it, something to the front of your your uh, scooter be prepared for you know some extra weight in the front most likely it's going to be a little topsy-turvy <laughs> but you will have a basket which is good um the basket is very useful i did not place a basket on mine because i already have a lot of stuff the external the pouch and whatnot who not um, I don't know if you guys noticed, I actually changed my speaker holders. I use the water bottle holders for the bicycle. These are from Amazon. They are strap bolts or what, I don't know how to explain it. I threw away the package I will show you. But basically there's a, there's a screw on this plastic part, goes into a metal flat piece which compresses up against the Velcro strap as you tighten it. So the more tight you tighten it, it will fasten the Velcro strap from moving. Basically, it'll be like you won't be able to move it while it's there. And then you use the Velcro strap. It's got some grip on it. So whatever you put it on, it's not gonna move. <clears throat> I have purchased these specifically from the bike store um i would ra rather go to the bike store for small things like this that the bike store carries so you don't have to wait so long in the mail you're better off getting them uh as soon as possible i went did a little kind of bent this a little made it a little bit more strong and i'll try to take it out it's kind of hard a little bit actually let's see Decent, went in there decent. If you put it in there a certain way, it'll be even tighter, but we don't want that. So you just gotta make sure the rubber part is flush and that's going under this part here. So if you like put it like this, it'll be really tight. It's hard to get out. So if you put it like that, slide it down. It's a flush fitment. Same over here. See the flush fitment right there? Yeah, flush. And uh, this one's really tight too. I want to give you guys an update on that. Stay tuned for more content. I got you guys. I got some... Uh, Still gonna show you the installment of this this video. Got you guys. The installment of the external battery. What I'll do is I'll just remove everything and do a video for you. While installing it, hope you guys are doing good. We're gonna be out there. Uh, I've been riding almost every single day. It's insane. I would record that content, but I believe it would just be a lot of content of just me riding. I mean, if you guys want to see me riding all the time, I have no problem posting that content and I will post it. Um, but yeah, um, definitely want you guys to get good content of uh, information so you can benefit as well. Thank you for watching guys. Remember to comment, like, subscribe. We're building the team here. You guys are a part of it. Thank you. Ride safe out there. Be cool. Be nice to the pedestrians. 
and uh, know know the um, the rules and regulations in your state, um, your uh, vehicle code. Make sure you know those and uh, what's legal for um, you riding. Don't want to get pulled over and cited. Two hundred dollar ticket. I'm in California. The CVC code is a uh, is actually strict, but not very strict. There's more strict codes in different states, and um, yeah, make sure you know your um, your laws and regulations in your area. All right, guys, stay tuned. Catch you later.